what would a guy do when he fails in every aspect of his life and if he's at the very end of hope educationally financially and in one too many ways i really didn't have an answer until a year back but now i do i'm krishna nothing is there really to be said much about me other than i was a failure case all my life raised by a poor family i was the only hope of my mother and sister being a low scoring graduate it was very hard to find a job in town so i had to leave home to spare burden for my mother and sister i was wondering where to go days passed by looking for a job in the city days even turned night but is it easy one day weary of summer in search of job i peeked into a tea shop to feel some shade and that is when i happened to see this company ad under the name m model i didn't know by then that i was so close to the perfect door I wasn't even aware of what job it was but something of my own voice was forcing me into it For a moment I even thought that I was growing mad out of hunger but having no choice and little money left i went in for it and i got through what next i was put through training for four months with a stipend pay enough to support myself
Throughout the course, my trainers were so good, such that I could feel that I'm learning something that I never knew. I was trying to teach myself and learn myself, just like a blind man tries to read a brain. Days turned months. I was growing up and so did my responsibility. Four months went by and I was ready for the big league. It was my first day in production. New faces, new environment, and entirely a new dimension made me really nervous. Just like every beginner, I was taught. I was criticized. for a while. Everything fell in line then. But still, failed the first month to make an impact. I thought it would be better the second month. Still, I failed to impress. I had no clue on what to do next. I started taking lessons from my senior person and I understood the job is not only about my salary but it is also about thousands of lives that rely upon my quality of work. On the other hand, I started paying attention to my job, so it started paying attention to my pay. I started succeeding. With that all being said, moving to the night shift was the hardest part. Working against the clock and keeping myself awake through the night. It wasn't an easy deal for me.
forcing myself to adapt was the only option because that is what i am getting paid for what can i say it has been another year here and i can't believe where i'm at right now this place was waiting for me to step in to break free from all my failures and to get responsible and to start fresh this part of my life here has brought me friends celebration joy in my heart peace in my mind it made me do the things i never thought i could do and new relations and above all it has brought me hope and courage now i have people who comfort me when i'm down and to share my sorrows and a place that supports me when i'm in need it's more like how my mother cares for me to be total i'm gifted now few hours back i was credited with my best pay ever for my hard work after months sounds like the so called god has heard my prayers but what am i supposed to do with all this money I chose to do the rightful thing first. I bought a gift from my mother who was worried sick about her son to let her know that her son is all right with all her prayers and a doll for her sister to let her know that her brother always hated her for fights but never loved her less. and a thanks to the almighty above for watching over my miseries and for bringing me this gift into my life i am into safe hands now it teaches me that i have more things to worry about other than my failures i am just a fragment of this place there are more here so ask me what would a guy do when he fails in every aspect of his life and if he's at the very end of hope I would say nobody is a failure until they learn what is life and life isn't the one to be learned from a book but from life itself this is my life and this is where I learn it now i can get back to my mother and confess to her in tears that my life is not ended but has just begun